Hi there, my name is Dan. You and me are gonna learn how to create our full screen background video website, both the video creation and building the website. Now there are loads of videos here like this one on my channel, but if you want more, check out my website, bringyourownlaptop.com. Tip number one for adding full screen background videos to a website. You can't do it for mobile. It sucks, but they mobile manufacturers don't like you uh, having autoplay videos because of data. Okay, it'll waste that and it burns through the kind of battery life. The CPU goes nuts when it's trying to play videos. So basically we just turn the video off when we get down to mobile, switch it out with an image and live with it. That's tip number one. Tip number two for making full screen background videos, okay, is file size and how to get it super duper small. Okay, the only thing you really need to do is grab your video, put it into Adobe Media Encoder, okay, go to custom, scroll down, and the thing you want to play around with is something called the bitrate. Okay, stick it to variable bitrate two, okay, and there's options, there's two little sliders, stick it at one and 1.5 and export. Okay, you'll go from a 20 megabyte file to a one megabyte file. It is crazy good and the quality is pretty good. Okay, so that is tip number two for making full screen background videos. Tip number three for making videos as a background on a website. Okay, this is for specifically using like the little letterbox version. Okay, where you've got a little box and you want to put the video in the background. Okay, when you're editing your video, okay, in something like uh, Premiere Pro or Media Encoder, you need to chop the tops and bottoms off. There's no point stretching it so it just kind of covers. You'll have all these bands, okay, that are wasted and that's file size and that is our nemesis when it comes to background videos. So chop them off using the crop feature, okay, or in Premiere Pro go to composition settings sequence settings even okay and just change the height down to something smaller you can do it in media encoder at the end as well okay so that's tip number three of i think we've got eight probably tip number four of eight okay uh for making video full screen backgrounds on a website okay and this one is what formats do i use pretty much uh you need mp4 okay which is the most shareable usable one there and then you need a fallback one Okay, and forget about OGG OGS now, okay, it's all about WebM with an M, okay, uh, that is the next fallback. So you just need two video files, okay, those are the two you need. Tip number five for adding full screen background videos to a website, okay, is adding all that cool kind of grain or like blurriness or washing it out a little bit. We do that really for two reasons. One is it looks quite cool and we can get text over the top of it if you darken it, okay? But the other reason is, is that we have to use quite small file sizes, okay? And it gets a little pixelated. So what we do is we blur it or add the kind of dots or the film grain over the top to hide that, okay? Makes it less obvious that it's, we've, we've kind of like purposely grimed it up instead of it's just a bit bad because we've had to use low quality. So we do two reasons, cool and to hide the bad pixels. All right, so that's tip number five of eight, I think. Okay, let's do the next one. Tip number six for adding background videos to a website, okay, the full screen ones, is that not all videos are the same, okay? Uh, if you've got a video with lots of different things going on, it's action and there's things flying around, lots of colors, lots of motion graphics, okay? That is gonna have bigger file sizes, it's just more colors, more going on, the colors are moving, okay, more data, bigger files. Uh, what I've done in this class exercise here is we've just got a little bit of a hand moving around so it gets very, very small. Okay, so not all videos are created equal when it comes to file size. <laughs> all right, we're up to tip number five, six, seven. Okay, I have to count it out my hands before the film starts running because I'm never sure what tip I'm up to. And it looks like I've skipped tip number six. So we're just going straight to seven. Okay, and this tip is an easy one. You know, you kind of like take your video and you make the background just a little darker, okay? It looks quite cool and moody. It also lowers the file size and it means you can put type over the top, some white text over the top if you've lowered it kind of a dark color. Okay, and that is tip number seven for putting full screen background videos on a website. All right, so we're up to tip number eight. I've counted it out already. Okay, so tip number eight, this is the last one of how to um, add video to a website background. Okay, and that is, you can do some stuff in CSS. Okay, things like blurring, you can tint it and you can mute the video. Okay, don't do any of that in CSS. Why? Because 
Some of it's not supported across all browsers. That's our bane of our life. But also the big reason is that if you have a video and it has audio, that file size is gonna load. The fact that you mute it later on doesn't change the file size, okay? It does mute it and that'll work, nothing wrong with that, okay? But the file size, okay, all that audio is included in your file size. The same with things like blurring, okay? You blur it, it actually lowers the file size because you get less detail and less mix up of pixels. So do all of that sort of stuff in the video first, okay? In something like Premiere or After Effects or Media Encoder. Okay, before you get to CSS. How good was that, right? If you want more, check out bringyourownlaptop.com.